My name's James Reynolds. People in the industry might know me as James F. Reynolds because I needed to put the F there because there was another James Reynolds prior to myself. Last week I was working on some K-pop stuff, a band called BTS. The week before that was Paloma Faith. More recently, Gorgon City, um, an Indian act. And yeah, so, so different music, which I love. You know, I love the diversity of it. I love the challenge of mixing different types of records. Pattern Mode in Studio One 4 is a really handy new feature. It's a very quick way of putting drums together uh, and allows you to create patterns and then then make copies of those patterns, edit them slightly, and then just drop the different patterns in. So if you're in a, in a songwriting situation, it's, it's just very quick. To have it built into the, the, the sequencer is absolutely brilliant. It's, it's like having a 909 on the timeline. It's just fantastic. And you know, whether you're making trap beats or house records, they, we all still use the 909 a lot. And so getting a beat together is very quick. Impact's had a big overhaul. It's become even more user-friendly. The interface is fantastic. Uh, very clear and easy to use and I'll now actually be starting to build my sound libraries with Impact XL because it's so quick. It has um, a drag and drop feature so you can take a folder full of snares for example your favorite snares and if you hold shift and drag them on it will just put them across all of the different pads ready to ready to use which you can then sync up if you've got a drum pad or, or whatever. It also has a very clever um, slice uh, feature which if you have a loop that you like but you want to sort of dig into that loop and use different parts of it on your pad you can take that loop hold shift it will splice up that loop so you've got all the different sections to then very quickly dig in and use various beats that you want out of that loop individually. Another feature that was uh, requested by quite a few Studio One uh, users was to have AF import. Uh, it allows you to drag and drop a saved session from a Pro Tools user straight into Studio One. So if they've left the stems within the Pro Tools session and that they haven't been chopped all from bar zero, it means you can just drag the AF file in and you, you're ready to go. You know where all the files are. And actually this, this works across the board. So you can, you can do the same with Logic and Cubase. So it makes it a very handy feature to have, especially as a mixer when you're requesting, you know, you get sent stems and they've left them all in, the, in, in a Pro Tools session. And also for people that are moving from Pro Tools to Studio One, uh, it allows them to dip into their old back catalog very quickly. Of course, if I'm working with someone who's not in Studio One, but in, in Pro Tools, I can then save the session as an AF and send it to them and then they, they're ready to go on their side as well. So it's a, it's a two way street. Their whole goal is to make everything as intuitive as possible, as quick as possible. Uh, when I was preparing the session yesterday with my assistant um, for the, the demonstration, I created a song in half an hour. It, it's so quick. My reason for moving to Studio One was how everything is organized, being able to split channels within the channel. So it's all very tidy, very, very easy to consume and, and, and makes your life or my life as a mixer much easier and, and therefore more enjoyable.